Hi guys, and welcome to Motor Planet, where today we're going to be showing you around a 2017 Renault Kajar. Now, this one in particular is the 1.2 petrol model, and it's the signature nav, meaning it comes with a beautiful amount of spec, a brilliant little 1.2 petrol engine producing great miles per gallon, and also plenty of punch. Now, this car has only covered around, I think it's 28,000 miles on the clock, so it's nothing for the age of the vehicle. We've got one former keeper, two keys and service history. So all of them boxes are ticked. And what we're going to do today is show you around the car, talk to you about some of the key features and generally just give you loads of information um, on what we've got for sale today. So starting from the front and working our way back, it's in a beautiful silver colour, broken up with loads of chrome and gloss black detailing, such as the front grille, which tie into the headlights now, if, if you take a look at the attention to detail in the headlights, it's phenomenal. A beautiful looking front end. Now, these are LED daytime running lights as well. It's also got seven, uh, 18 inch alloy wheels, which are a diamond cut face and a grey insert, which look brilliant against the car again. We've also got black wing mirrors just to add a bit of colour in there. Again, just breaking up that silver. But if you do take note of the bodywork, it is in beautiful condition. Really, really well kept. Rear lights are LED lit as well. Um, if you want to take a look at the pictures on the website, there's a couple of pictures of it lit and unlit. We've also got parking sensors on the front and rear, making it a breeze to park. Huge boot, great size space in the back of there, which we'll move on to in just a second. Let's just finish off this bodywork and let me tell you what the car is going to come with. So it's going to come with a full 12 month MOT with no advisories whatsoever. It's going to get a service so that you don't have to touch it for the next 12 months. It's going to get a pre-delivery inspection just to ensure quality on our cars. And it's also going to get a nationwide parts and labour warranty to look after you, not just now, but in the long run as well. So, before we move on to the interior, let me just show you a couple of the final features on the exterior of the car. So obviously it looks gorgeous. We've got the keyless entry on the handles, which means that basically you can push this button with it being in your pocket and it will uh, unlock or lock the car. We've also got the panoramic sunroof as well, which lets in a beautiful amount of light, making the cabin all nice and airy, which is brilliant. Just a beautiful feature to have. Right, now that's out the way, let's move on to the interior. Let's take a look under the bonnet and let's run you through some figures. Before we move on to the interior, let's have a look under the bonnet and let's run you through those figures. So underneath here is Renault's 1.2 litre four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. It produces around about 130 brake horsepower, so it's got loads of grunt in it. Up to 151 foot-pound of torque and up to around about 55 miles per gallon, resulting in a 165 pound tax bracket. It's only insurance group 11, so them figures sh such should suggest that it should be nice and cheap for you to run. Now, it's brilliant having the uh, smaller engines in the larger cars now, meaning that all of the running costs are just going to drop dramatically, especially with the fuel prices at the minute. Having a nice economical 1.2 with space for all of the family is brilliant. Now, taking a look in the boot space, there is loads of room in the back of here. I do apologise, it's not the best lighting. Um, but we've also got division shelves with more storage space under there. Underneath this one is your tyre inflation kit and the Bose speakers at the back. We've also got the option to fold down the rear seats on a 70-30 split, just with these little handles here. And it's nicely lit as well. Moving onto the door cards and the interior. Now this is where it starts to get really nice and tasty. So we've got loads of features here. So we've got plenty of uh, leather coating the interior of the car. We've got the Bose sound speakers, which is brilliant in this vehicle. The sound quality is just phenomenal. We've got the two-tone half leather, half cloth seats, which have a really, really nice styling to them. Um, it doesn't look half as good on the pictures, uh, but in person, really nice styling with the white stitching and the white piping. It's just a really nice little feature. The front seats follow suit to the rear. Again, really nice styling. Front door card follow suits again to the rear. Really nice styling to it. Loads of the leather just coating the door handles. We've got all of your multifunction buttons here for your uh, windows, your window locks. Uh, up here, you've got push button uh, closing wing mirrors, which is nice to have, especially when you're parking up. 
nice Bose kick plates just showing off the brilliant sound system in this car these seats are a lovely looking set of seats which are super super comfortable all height adjustable now working on our way onto the interior of the car to the right hand side of your steering wheel you've got your eco button and your stop start um, basically uh, the stop start is when you come up to a set of traffic lights knock it out of gear take your foot off the clutch the engine will stop uh, once you're ready to set off again engage the uh, clutch pedal put it into a gear and it'll start up automatically just saving you that little bit of fuel while you're at the lights now it all adds up in the end and it will save you a fortune in the long run it's a very economical car and especially like i mentioned before with the fuel price at the minute you want to keep those running costs low so we've got automatic wipers automatic lights the push button start we've got the full leather steering wheel with the multifunction buttons for your uh, media controls and all of your hands free um just back there you've got the finger touch buttons so this is for your media um, so you can go up, down, switch the music off and answer your calls. The entertainment screen in the centre is a 7 inch touchscreen display with plenty of different features on. Um, so I'm just going to quickly, or very try very quickly to uh, talk you through a few of them. I may need to switch the ignition on. There you go. So it's probably going to whinge at me because I've got the door open. So let's go into the menu and let's just show you a few of the features. So you've got navigation, brilliant to have in any car whatsoever. Navigation is brilliant. You've got your multimedia connecting your phone up to the car using all of your hands free. You've got different apps as well, applications that you can put on the car. You've also got vehicle settings as well, which is your parking assist, tyre care, all of your driving assistance and eco modes. Um, and just a few general bits and bobs on here. So, plenty to have a, a good play with though. FM, AM. Now, further down you've got your dual climate control, which means the driver and passenger can have slightly different temperatures, just to make sure everyone's nice and comfortable. It's also got the air conditioning, which is brilliant in the nice hot days. Fingers crossed we'll get some this year. A little bit further down you've got your keyless entry key. Nice little card key there. Um, all coated in the leather again just to tie in with the car uh, which the previous keepers got we've got uh, two USB ports and an AUX socket with the 12 volt charging just next to it to go along its uh, 1.2 petrol engine is a six speed manual gearbox now having that extra sixth gear just lets it idle a lot nicer on the motorways bringing your fuel economy up meaning it shouldn't cost you a hell of a lot to run like I mentioned uh, you've also got your cruise control and speed limiter just here, and then it's operated on the steering wheel as well to adjust. Um, other than that, there's plenty of different storage pockets, loads of little cubby holes, nice size glove box. And last but not least, you've got the beautiful panoramic sunroof. As you can see, everything's lit up with LED lights beautiful panoramic roof and with the touch of a button up here you can close the visor i love leaving them open though it just lets so much air into the cabin making everything feel nice light and airy so let's wrap it up we've got a great amount of tech with satellite navigation all your bits and bobs we've also got brilliant brilliant bodywork on it really nice mileage with only 28,000 miles one former keeper two keys service history and a brilliant 1.2 petrol engine up front Remember what you're going to get with the car though guys, you're going to get your service, you're going to get your MOT with no advisories whatsoever, you're going to get your pre-delivery inspection and your warranty to look after you, not just now but in the long run as well. We're also going to, well, we also have great finance options, extended warranties and delivery options so do feel free to get in contact for your tailored quotes. And I'm bound to have missed plenty of details on this car so do feel free to give us a call on 0161 335 9972 with any questions you may have and one of our team would be more than happy to look after you. Thanks for watching guys, take care, we'll see you soon.